Hey guys, welcome back. If you're trying to reduce your sugar intake or you're trying to cut sugar out of your diet completely, but you're finding yourself having those chocolate cravings, ice cream cravings, baked good cravings, or anything else, I got you covered. I'm gonna share with you guys all of the treats that I've found that have been really satisfying all of my cravings. I have everything from ice cream to fruits to chocolate. I even have some sugar-free hazelnut spread and I'm gonna go through all of them in this video. I do wanna say when it comes to finding sugar-free alternatives, it really depends on your personal preference. If it's your first time going sugar-free, definitely find a sweetener that you enjoy because it makes it that much easier to stay sugar-free. I'm gonna start off with my absolute favorite treat. These are Chalk Zero's No Sugar Added Milk Chocolate Barks. These are also keto friendly, so if you're doing keto, these are perfect. These come in tons of flavors. This is what the little pack looks like, and then once you open it up, this is what the chocolate bar looks like. These are so delicious. I love them. And I also really like that they're individually wrapped in these like bars. This makes it so easy to take with you to work, um, to the gym, to school, to college. And when I go out, usually like with my friends and they want to go out for dessert or something, I don't want to feel left out. Like I don't want to sit there and watch somebody eat chocolate and like be upset about it. So I just pull one of these guys out of my purse and honestly, it satisfies me and it doesn't look awkward because it's just like a candy bar. I also really enjoy Chalk Zero's white chocolate peppermint candies. Oh, those are so delicious. They're so creamy. They like melt in your mouth. And they were so perfect over the holidays because I felt like I had like my holiday dessert fix while still being sugar-free. So definitely check those out. It's one of my top favorites along with these chocolate bars. Sticking to the same brand, Chalk Zero makes this hazelnut spread that is sugar-free and I don't know how they do it. This is so delicious. Granted, I stopped eating Nutella maybe like a couple years ago. So I really don't remember the actual taste of Nutella, but you guys, this is incredible. It's a really creamy spread. I've been using this on toast and putting sliced bananas on top. It almost feels like I'm eating a crepe. I also use it on cupcakes, so it's like a frosting on top. I also use it as just like a snack. I dip in gluten-free pretzels with this, and oh my god, I love this so much. I've had so many of my friends and family try this. I actually bought a couple jars for my nephew who is four years old. He's obsessed with Nutella and he didn't even notice the difference. The third thing is ice cream. I know, when I found sugar-free ice cream, I was like, wait a second, is this a thing? Oh my God, I'm so excited because now I can have baked apple pie with my monk fruit sugar and have a scoop of vanilla bean ice cream on top. And oh my God, these are such good alternatives. This especially is delicious. This has a like dark chocolate coating with vanilla bean ice cream in the middle and it's actually very, very tasty. When it comes to the vanilla bean ice cream, I will be honest, this is not the best ice cream that I've ever had in my entire life. Definitely ice creams taste the best when they're loaded with sugar and lots of dairy, but with that being said, this is still a really good replacement. Craving ice cream one night, well, you have an option. This brand, So Delicious, actually has several other flavors. So they have a mint chocolate chip that's sugar-free. They have a double chocolate flavor that is sugar-free. And they also have a couple other bars. So if you guys want to check out their fudge bars, those are also pretty good. Um, yeah, definitely check them out. So if you want ice cream, don't worry, you're covered. Next up are dried fruits. These have been lifesavers. When I want something kind of like a tangy sweet, not necessarily like chocolate ice cream sweet, these have been awesome. I snack on these while I'm working. I also put this like kind of in my bag if I'm going out to a picnic, if I'm going camping, road trip. These are definitely awesome. So you can get pretty much any fruit dried up. Mangoes, pineapple, apricot. My personal favorite is definitely mango as well as apricot. The only thing I will say is when you're picking one of these bad boys up, check the ingredients in the back. Make sure there is no sugar added because a lot of times dried fruit also have sugar added. Um, so just make sure the only ingredient says the dried fruit. So here is just organic dried mango strips and then this is organic apricots. So I got both of these from Whole Foods. And also another thing to keep in mind, uh, look for dried fruits that don't have sulfur dioxide because that's just an extra chemical you don't need in your body. Just get the ones that are natural and only have the fruit itself. My last treat is some baking goods. Unfortunately, I don't have any on hand to show, but I'll put pictures here on the screen 
This brand, Zen Sweet, has been a lifesaver when it comes to indulgent baked goods. I've been especially loving their chocolate chip cookies. They're so good. Um, I also really love their vanilla bean cupcakes. My dad is obsessed with them. So I buy these packets off of their website and I just have them in bulk. Anytime I'm wanting a muffin for breakfast or a cupcake as a treat, I'll just whip up one of these baked goods and they're so delicious. They're also gluten free so this brand uses like almond flour as well as coconut flour and tapioca flour in replacement of regular flour. And she also sweetens with monk fruit and like I said I really enjoy that. So if you're big on chocolate chip cookies and brownies and stuff like that, definitely check out this brand. I feel like they do an awesome job at these goods. And yeah, that is pretty much it. These are just some of the snacks that I've been enjoying that have really helped me get over my sugar cravings. Let me know if you guys try out any of these treats. Let me know if you guys are planning on going sugar-free. Have you tried it? Um, what are some of your favorites? I would love to know. I'm always trying to add new things. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!